doing well welcome back to another vlog so it is currently a friday afternoon and i just thought it'd be the perfect kind of time to actually start this vlog because i'm actually going to be vlogging over the weekend not that i have any exciting plans this weekend um to be fair i think me and mitch are just going to go out for some food tomorrow night i'm not too sure what we're going to get up to in the day sunday morning he's going to come out and do some outfit shooting with me because i just feel like it's been a minute since i did any photos for instagram because obviously my mom had covid so she was like out of action for two weeks in isolation and then she's now on holiday for two weeks so yeah i've lost my photographer so mitchell has said he will step in and go out with me on sunday to get some content so that's what we're doing sunday morning so i'll bring you along for that and just show you what i do um not that i'm any expert and some like instagram do you know what i mean like what are they called like proper fashion instagrammers i don't really class myself as that um and then yeah i think on sunday afternoon we're then going to head out for like a nice long walk now invested in some walking shoes because we're taking this whole like walking thing serious and it's just such a nice thing to do so nice to get out like you feel like you've accomplished something for the day it's nice taking all the scenery when it's a nice day of course um and yeah we really enjoy it so we're now official walkers um so yeah that's what we're getting up to this weekend so i'm gonna take you along um i'm starting this vlog in the afternoon because i've been a little bit busy this morning and i'm actually hoping that i'm gonna be able to get my cat tree done for the outside so if you've been following me for a while you would know i have two british short hair cats and they are indoor cats now a lot of people always ask me why they are indoor cats why don't i let them outside i live in the countryside and where i live I know people say that cats will come back, but if they were to go missing, I genuinely don't think they would come back because I'm that in the middle of the countryside, if you know what I mean. So there's a lot of like foxes around, um, just like wild animals. And also I'm not actually far from a main road and that worries me like anything. I've had quite a lot of cats killed killed on main roads when I lived at my mum's. Um, so yeah, when I moved here, I kind of just decided that I don't want to let them out. <laughs> It's a hard one because you feel bad in a way because, you know, cats do like to roam and go out, don't they? But I always think as well, it's what they're used to. Like if they don't know any different, then they're not as bothered. If you let your cat out, right, from day dot and then all of a sudden decide, oh, I want to have a house cat now, it's impossible. But if you never let them out, they kind of like never know any different. That's what I found anyway. So genuinely, they don't seem that bothered to go out because they've never known about it. But I do want to let them have like fresh air and things like that. So that's why I got them an outdoor like cattery kind of thing. Is that what it's called? Like an outdoor cat enclosure. So they have that. Um, but I was wanting to like fill it and make it all, you know, fun for them. So now Omelet have very kindly sent me over a outdoor cat tree. It's something new that they've just released and, you know, come up with on their website. So yeah, I'm going to go through and show you all of that and talk to you about it in more detail just in case you know you have cats that are indoor and are looking for something to keep them stimulated allow them some outdoor time because yeah it is so unreal um i'm just hoping that it stays light enough you know what it's like in the uk at this time of the year it starts to get dark around five so yeah i'm just gonna try and finish up on my laptop drink my coffee and then we'll go and head out and do that i feel like there was something else i needed to tell you but i really can't remember by the way if you can see this in the background it's my new print from danielle um i actually went out for dinner with her last night i have not seen her in the longest time as you get older and your friends get married they have kids and you just grow up friendships change life changes and it's just so funny because once upon a time me and danielle would be out every weekend seeing each other you know, when you're young, you don't have responsibilities. And then, like I said, all of a sudden, you grow up, get a mortgage, find a partner, have a kid. And yeah, obviously, your focus changes in life, which is, you know, a natural progression. But it's just funny because we don't see each other that much anymore with all of that. Um, so I feel like the last time I seen her was maybe like November oh my goodness no i feel like it was october it was a while ago so we finally caught up yesterday over dinner which was so nice and she finally gave me my christmas present i've still got hers here because like an absolute dope i forgot it had it all out ready for her and her daughter and yeah forgot it but yeah she got me this which is a gorgeous frame with this i've got popcorn in my mouth and it's so annoying 
I don't know why I do it. Every time I go and sit down to film, I always have something to eat just before, and then I've got bits in my mouth. But yeah, anyway, she got me this frames. It's best friends. I like stars. You don't always need to see them to know they are there. That literally sums up our friendship. And then she's put like me and her. Also, I used to have brown hair. That's what I'm like known for. That's my natural hair colour. So it's quite like fitting. Um, but I love that. Like I've said this before, but personalised and meaningful friends like that are just me like i appreciate and love that so much so yeah it's gonna sit and live there now anyway i need to move because time is ticking it's gonna get dark and i really want to have a look at this cat treat so let's move on so here are all the boxes that have arrived at my front door i feel like there's seven in total so obviously i'm first of all just going to unbox everything so we can see what we've got and then it's a bit tricky right so you're gonna have to excuse the state of this room this is some reality for you done all my makeup left it all there so i need to tidy that all away i think these have just fell down i don't know what's happened there and then um, this is a bit of a mess because i have to kind of like take the candle off there because the cat jumps up here jumps up here then goes out into the cat enclosure so if i just open and show it you at the moment we've just got a chair there so it's like easy for them to jump down in and then i don't really know what that is i think it's like a pallet that my mum just chucked in there um just to give them something to like walk on and then they have got a bed in there that's kind of flipped over so i feel like i'm gonna have to bring everything in here and then like go out in there and assemble it that's the only way it's going to work so before i do assemble it i just wanted to give you a little bit more information about the outdoor cat tree um because honestly it is so insane so essentially if you go over to omelette's website click on the outdoor cat tree you are able to design your own cat tree which i think is so so good because as you guys will know every cat is different every cat likes different things so rather than you just buying kind of like one size fits all cat tree you can tailor it and customize it to suit your own cat's needs um so yeah i basically went on to omelette's website designed it all myself had a look at all the different bits and attachments you can add so i will include a screen recording just here so you can see how you design it it's so so simple but yeah there's all different like subheadings of things you can pick so yeah there's loads of different options for you and like i say you can make it as inexpensive as expensive as you want just depends on all the add-ons know how it is um but yeah it is brilliant so so impressed so fast i also do have a discount code for omelette so i am going to leave it on screen here and i believe that will get you 10 percent off so if you are looking at getting your animals anything not just cats i do dog things um the list goes on do check out their website because they are insane um but yeah without further ado let's get you on a time lapse and let's get this all sorted okay so a little update for you i've made the executive decision to stop where I am and just wait for Mitchell tomorrow because on further inspection and reading all the instructions it does say you need two people which is quite logical really I feel like whenever you're doing anything like this you always kind of need someone to hold something and also just two of you to navigate through all the instructions and everything so yeah really frustrating because I'm someone that when I want to do something I want to get doing it straight away and I want it all up and I really wanted it up for the cats today but um yeah to be fair it is getting later anyway now and I mean to think that I'd probably get it done in an hour would probably be quite optimistic. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's like 10 past four now, so it will get dark in an hour anyway. So yeah, I'll pick up the camera tomorrow and we'll continue then with doing the cat tree. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So it is Saturday now. Afternoon. It's afternoon, what's time? Sorry. Okay, so it is the afternoon. It is Saturday today and Mitchell has finally come over to help me assemble the cat tree um, because like I said on the instructions it does say two people so yeah we thought actually rather than do it outside you would have saw me take all the stuff outside yesterday Mitchell thought it'd be a better idea do it inside and then I'm just gonna have to move the cat um what's it called pen and then we can get it in like that so yeah I'm just gonna put you in a time lapse because we have got a lot to do so we're just gonna crack straight on with it Watch the corn grow in the fields I don't know what's on your mind But I know that it's something about you and me I'll stay here for as long as I can Through the storms and through the calm When you smile at me I 
Okay, so we're just gonna head and just assembled it a lot off camera because there was a lot to it and I didn't want to like bore you with hours of footage of us assembling it. Um, it's pretty straightforward once you get going but it will take you a few hours so definitely leave yourself a few hours to do it and you do need two people to kind of hold it together um but this is it all assembled and put in the cage it looks so good i can't wait to get them out here and actually get them on it and see how they like it so like i said you can design these outdoor cat trees to your cats so if you go on omelette's website um like i say you can Put where you want the little steps the larger ones um i've chose to put one of these like bed ones with the cover um so i've put one of them there and then two of the bigger cushion pads there a little step one then like a what would you say this is called a bridge a bridge um across and then just for like display and just to make it look a little bit more aesthetic i've put a plant pot there um and then there's a scratch pose and i'm also awaiting on order a little feeder so you can put like treats and food in um but that was out of stock so that will be here in the next few weeks um a really good thing about these as well is you can add on things as and when you want so if you even wanted to add like another pole on and make it even bigger you could do that so yeah it really is so customizable to your cat um, and it's such good quality as well so yeah I'm gonna just get the cats out and see how they like it okay so I've just put body out as well I feel like they're just having a little thing oh buddy's down buddy's down he's gonna go and have a look come on then go on your cat tree Ooh. <laughs> not that he said summer will be over soon Because I'm vlogging. Okay, so it's a little bit later on now and we're just heading out. Um, it's actually 4.30, which is pretty early for us on a Saturday night, but we just figured we're hungry, so we're gonna head into Nottingham now to get some food. Just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. Nothing special, just some cargoes matching with Mitchell, cargo gang, um, plain black top. So many of you asked me where this is from in my Primark haul, which is a pretty little thing. I'll try and find a link for it. And then coat is Boohoo trainers just for comfort zara bag and yeah my hair's just greasy and slicked up um what's the place we're going called is it thai street food is that what it is or japanese street food zap thai street food oh it is thai street food yeah so um we like trying different food out don't we and mitchell come across this street food restaurant in nottingham that we've never been so it's just walking only so we thought we'd go and walking. try that out hey we need to touch some cardboard brother we do we have so much cardboard Cardboard okay, on. right, I'm gonna pause. Okay, so we've arrived at Zap Street Food. Mitchell seems to think we walk past this before, but we never have, have we? Yeah. It's like right on the edge of knots. So um hopefully we can get in because it is just walk-ins only. They did say just come down, you'd be able to get in, but there's a queue outside, so that isn't a good sign. Well, deliver. Oh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, so we've gone for an alcoholic beverage. We have gone for a Thai passion mojito. How much have you been on these? 7.50, it's not too bad, is it? Um, yeah, they've got a really nice cocktail menu. Ooh. Look at that, that, that went so quick. <laughs> okay, so we've gone for the Bangkok platter, so you get a variety of different things. Looks so nice. So we have just got back in the car. How was the meal? Really Ratings out of ten. The platter. Oh, we're going for each different thing. Eight. Platter eight. The cocktails were ten ten. I could have had another. Yeah, the cocktails four were five. so good, and the service with the cocktails was really good yeah, as well. They were, yeah, all the service was really good all, all around. Yeah. Uh, the main was eight out of ten. Yeah. And I wanted some salt and chili chips. Mm, that would have made it. That would have made it. Pudding? Mm. Pudding was really good. That's yeah, 10 10. Yeah, 10 10. 
10 out of 10. Um, we've just got back to the car park though. We've never parked in this car park. It's literally right in central Nottingham. I just thought of it being an NCP, like the one that we normally park at. Is that what it's called? The one we normally park at that's an NCP is like, I don't know, six pound all day or something. This one is five pound per hour. Five pound per hour, I think that's so expensive. So yeah, we've just paid 10 pound for the car park, which is extortionate. Well, I feel like we've only in there for 45 minutes, so. I think that's extortionate, 10 pound for just over an hour parking. But anyway, it was a really nice meet. Oh, I'd like to try something else. Think like going to like new places like that. You don't always know what to try. So we just kind of picked two random like dishes off the meal. Dish, dish, can't even speak. Two dishes off the menu. I normally pick a pad thai at a Thai place, and I didn't. And I'm quite sad about that because I would have liked to try the pad thai because a couple of people around us had it, and it looked sensational. No, I was happy with the pits. Mm. Beef and a chicken. The, I think the beef was a bit bland. But it was only like garlic and chili sauce, wasn't it? Mm. The chicken was nice. The chicken was really nice. But I don't think I could have had all of that on its own because it would have been a bit sickler. Yeah, I'm glad we split it. Yeah. Anyway, it was really good. I'd rate it. I'd definitely go back, wouldn't you? Yeah. Cocktails as well. I, think, I was saying to Mitchell when we was in there, because it's like a street food vibe. What's going on there, I don't know. You can go to that one. Oh no. Well, no, I can't no, go to that one. No, you can't go to that one. Um, because it's a street food vibe, it kind of reminded me of Tidal Bay. Yeah, quite, ca like. quite casual and just like nice and chill mm. and good cocktails. Be nice to do a two for one. <sighs> I'd be leaving just... the car here. <laughs> <laughs> That'd cost some, wouldn't it? Mm. So anyway, overall, if you live in Knots, what's it called? Zoot? No, Z Zap. <laughs> Z-A-A-P, isn't it? Zap. What's Zoot? Well, Zap is Z-A-P, isn't it? Oh, so it's, it's got Zap. An extra, it's got an extra A in it. Zap. What is it then? Zap. <laughs> Zap. Is it just, just street Zap. food? Zap street food. Thai street food. Zap Thai street food. Nottingham. Get down there. To be honest with you, my brother's told us for ages now to try another Thai place. Hasn't it? Like mm. a, I think it's more of like a authentic family run place. And I feel like they're, they're always the best. The ones that don't really look so good on the outside. Do I pack this guy? No, because he works. It's NCP van like maybe some it's down in the system oh look he's coming out sorry we're just currently waiting to get out the car park but there's like an ncp van in front of us so we're a bit like what's going on but he is making his way to his vehicle now so hopefully we can go he's not in a rush though is there no he doesn't look like he enjoys his job either i feel stuffed now hon i'm not gonna lie come on then mate you be paying for another five hundred dollars. Well, this is what I'm worried about. I wonder NCPs do so well. Mm, I don't understand how the NCP down the road is like six pound for all day, and this is like five pound an hour. Maybe just because it's like a little bit more in the centre. Do you reckon? It possibly is, yeah. Well, we have to do walk next time, won't we? Because I'm not paying that again. Well, you didn't pay it. <laughs> What is this? I can take the car past that. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Me and Mitchell have decided to go, get up early and go for a, a nice walk today, haven't we? We have. Um, so we're actually going to head to Ticknell, which I believe is Derbyshire. Um, my dad goes walking quite a lot of my mum and he's recommended this spot for us. Obviously with this time of the year, it's quite muddy everywhere. Um, and like the usual walks we'd do in the fields and stuff, it's just not really the one apparently. So dad said there's a lot of like dry paths around there. So yeah, we're going to head out that way. What else did he say is there? Not just Ticknell, there's like a... Not a clue. Is it like a stately home or something quite Yeah, nice? there is something there, yeah. Something like that. Um, and apparently there's also, is it Stanton, Staunton Harold Garden Centre? And apparently Shaking. they do like nice cake and cup of tea and things like that. So yeah, we might Thank head you. there as well for a mid-stop. I say mid-stop, we've just been into Tesco just to stock up on fuel and supplies for Mitchell's rucksack. I'll give you a little haul. I actually, just put my seatbelt on, babe. So one second. Let me just chuck that there. Oh, oh yeah. God. Let me put it in. Um, so yeah, I'll just give you a little 
haul. Hopefully my camera is going to stay there. Um, Mitchell's got a North Face rucksack and he bought it for when we went to the, I was going to say, the, is it the Peak District? I would say Lake District, don't I, but it's the Peak District. Um, and yeah, so now anytime we go on a walk, Mitchell always wants to get his rucksack out and use it. So we just went to um, Tesco just to get like a few bits and bobs. To be fair, the walk that you planned on that commute app, it's not even that long, is it? It's we're about gonna... seven kilometres, but Dad said we can extend it. Yes, yeah, so we're going to try and extend it. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what we got. Oh, this is really awkward because I need like something to put it on in the car. I have yeah, bought one of them things. I have bought like an actual car thing and I've still not put it in my car. So annoying. Anyway, so at the petrol station, I actually picked up a almond croissant because I love croissants. And these almond ones are so nice. This is going to be shaking everywhere. This was not the one. We probably should have stayed still while I vlogged, but anyway. Um, but then Mitchell was saying for like his breakfast, he's going to have a bit of an egg and quest. Quest? Quest. Quest. Quest sandwich. I don't know why he said it like that. Quest sandwich. Egg and quest. And um, we had these at your brother's birthday, not your brother's birthday party, but your birthday party that he did for Daisy the yeah. week. And they were so nice. Like I've really got into egg sandwiches again. So I was like, oh, I want that for breakfast. So I don't really know what I'm going to have. I'll probably have like half of that and a bit of croissant. We then got a big water each. Um, we just got the meal deal. How much is the meal deal, babe? Three, three pound, isn't it, Tesco? Three pound. It's five pound, isn't it, Marks and Spencers, isn't it? Yeah, four oh. ninety five. Oh, is that what it is? Um, Mitchell picked up a chicken Caesar wrap. That's what you normally have? Mm. Nice? It's very nice. Um, I picked up a ham and cheese sandwich, which is a little bit unusual for me, but I really wanted a crisp sandwich, and this has like the mayo in as well, so it is quite juicy on its own. Um, but I picked up some prawn cocktail crisps, which are my fave, and we're gonna put some of them in it, <laughs> do a little crisp sandwich. And then Mitchell's snack was some smoky barbecue chicken bites. I've never had the smoky They're barbecue unreal. ones, are they? They're good. I'm gonna try one of them. Yeah. I am. And then, oh, I'm really sorry, I feel like this footage is going to be so shaky. We also got some midget gems. What were they for? Just, just snack on. Just for a snack all on the way. And then we also picked up... Some more things to add to my rucksack. <laughs> more things to add to the rucksack. Um, three of these grenade carb killer high protein low sugar bars. So we've got the white chocolate one the salted caramel and also salted peanut, which is white chocolate too. I normally have this one when I go gym, the white chocolate cookie one, but Mitchell picked me up a birthday cake one the other day. Oh my God, I think that was like my new favorite. Yeah, it was cake. good. Birthday cake one is the one. If they had that, I think I would have got it, but they didn't. And um, these were three, three for five pound on the uh, Tesco club card. Guys, isn't it crazy how much you can save with your Tesco club card? I feel like the before total for us was like £20. Yeah. We did your club card, it was £12.95. Yeah, they, they put all the prices up, didn't they? Yeah, on purpose. On purpose, so people get a club card. Yeah. So just, it's just the same as if you went to Asda, the club card prices are. Like. But it's crazy though, isn't it? Because like your before bill without a club card nowadays is just so expensive. Yeah, not a lot of people would shop at Tesco. No, unless you got a club card. Unless you got a club card. <laughs> That's why me and Mitchell have got one. Um, it's actually mine. No, well it's in your name, but it's mine as well, because I scan it, <laughs> so we share it. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign out. It is a lovely day today. Let me just show you the blue sky. Could you just give the window a little clean? Yeah, no problem. That's... <laughs> um, yeah, it's such a nice day. It's been like this for a few days. When I say it's been like this for a few days, it's been foggy. In, in London, no, I was saying to my mum, when my mum rang me yesterday, she was saying that the weather was um, grey, miserable and foggy. But it wasn't like that in London, it was blue sky for both yeah. the days. So I think it's just been like that here. What is going on with my hair here? Um, <laughs> I've just got like a little tuff hanging out. But yeah, it's been so nice where I've been for the last few days. It's been like blue skies, but cold, but just blue skies. And I feel like when it's sunny and it's blue sky, it just makes your mood a lot brighter, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you agree? <laughs> Um, anyway, I am going to go because we're just going over loads of bumps and this footage is not going to be very stable. So I'm going to sign out until we get to the walking part. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to have to put my sunglasses down because it is so sunny. It's such a lovely day, but me and Mitchell have just started our walk. So as I was saying in the car, we parked up at somewhere called Ticknell, um, just outside a pub. It's actually closed out and called The Wheel. Um, I recognise it from when I've been here with my mum and dad ages ago for a walk. 
And yeah, we're on the first leg of our walk. How long is this walk supposed to be? It wasn't too far, was it? But we're going to try. two hours. Yeah, we're going to try and extend it. But it's such a nice day for it. Let me show you where we currently are. I think we're near that, Cor is it Cork Abbey? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Um, because we've just seen like loads of cars like heading towards what looks like a car park. So yeah, it's so beautiful. I mean, there's not really a lot to see yet. Um, yeah, it's a really nice day. Mitchell's got his um, North Face rucksack on. We just need some walking shoes now. I feel like we're starting to look like walkers, except the footwear. <laughs> I've just got my um, Adidas Oswego's on because these are really, really comfy. But yeah. So what are walking sho shoes supposed to do? Like, just offer you a little bit more support and grip, maybe. I'm not walking. <laughs> well, no, but you was obviously inquiring about them the other day, so I just... Walkers wear them, didn't they? So they must be for a reason. <laughs> we just basically walk them so we look like a walker. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so we've just got to Cork Abbey. Uh, it's really cute around here. So there's a nice toilet stop if you need a wee on your walk. And there's also like a little cafe. I think you can get like hot chocolates from there. I don't know what else they do. It says restaurants. So maybe mm, they do food I think the as restaurant's well. through there. Oh, so is this just the cafe yeah, I think here? No, yeah. It's really nice because you can just step off and um, yeah, just have a wee and a cup of coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Such a beautiful day. Yeah, she's gonna get a hot chocolate. Okay, so we just got ourselves a luxury hot chocolate. So it had marshmallows in, mm. cream on top, and then it's a chocolate sprinkle. It just looks like chocolate biscuit. Or is there sprinkles as well? I don't work there. <laughs> we also had a sausage roll that was really nice, didn't we? Yeah, and a brownie. And we've got the brownie in the pocket, so we'll show you the brownie and we'll do a rate our brownie because I feel like. That's just the thing for us now, rate the browner. Is Remember that, Christmas markets? Oh, what happened, yeah? Yeah. Right, so yeah, going to enjoy a hot chocolate and drink. It's funny because I don't know why we had the sausage roll when we um, have a picnic in our bag. It's warm. It's warm. <laughs> yeah. More of the pot. Okay, so brownie tasting time. Here's the brownie. Mitchell's like doing up close to the brownie. Mmm. Soft, moist. Crunchy. <laughs> oh. You know what though, I feel like since, yeah, time. since we've been trying all of these flavoured brownies, you know like the um, chocolate orange one, salted caramel, mm. I do enjoy a flavoured brownie nowadays, like a plain one, it almost doesn't hit the spot. Is that what the word, hit the spot? <laughs> anyway, I can't really tell you where we are at the moment guys, I think these are the gardens that you can walk around. Um, so yeah, Take the I think we've just come into a dead end, oh, oh there's an exit there. <laughs> So yeah, right, I'm going to take, try the brownie myself now. Hmm. It's definitely more of a cake brownie than a um, gooey, brownie. gooey brownie. It's got chocolate chips in as well. Mm. Where mm. are we? I would say 7 out of 10. I don't think it's that good. Okay, so... Mitchell, the guide, has gone ahead. He's got the canoe app open. Apparently we're going down here somewhere, but the thing is, my dad did say this, but it's very wet everywhere. I mean, it's not so bad here, but we have gone through a few muddy tracks. Um, we really do need to get walking shoes though, babe. And do you know that we can take them off in the boot and just put them in a bag and then put some like new shoes on? Because when it's muddy like this, but this is very pretty though really pretty around here the weather has just like took a bit of a turn not for the worst but it's so weird because it was like crystal blue skies earlier and now it's a bit waterfall. bit downcast waterfall. sorry i'll get the waterfall in don't worry <laughs> it's just got a thing with like waterfalls like this is what i mean about the mud um no it's not too bad but that's why we was trying to find like a dry path but yeah, as long as we make sure we take our shoes off before we get in my car. Because last week there was so muddy. But yeah, anyway, I think it's... a rope swing here, wouldn't it? A what? A rope swing. Bloody hell, no, I'd be falling in the lake. I would it? No, I wouldn't go on it. Um, has our own stopped yet? It's still a little bit um, sp spitting, isn't it? 
Weather. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's gone so weird though. It's honestly so warm and just. Well, you'd have thought it was so lovely earlier. Anyway, hopefully we're on the right path. I so, hope so. We've been walking ages. How long have we been walking for? Two hours. Two hours. Five miles. Five miles. God, that's good for it. Did you know what? It just didn't feel like it's been that long. No, it's been a nice walk. Yeah. I think when you go on interesting walks and you're just talking and stuff, it soon goes by. Right, anyway, I'm going to sign off over and out. Oh my God, guys, I can see some deers ahead. How beautiful are those? I don't know if you'll be able to see, actually. Let me wipe my lens. Oh my God, they are literally the cutest things. So when I said we were supposed to be on a dry path, <laughs> Mitchell has now brought us to the most muddiest, foggiest <laughs> field that we're just currently walking through. It's like mush. It's weird though, baby, it wouldn't be so bad. Do you know what it is? It's because they've sectioned it off. Like if you could have just walked on the yeah, grass. Walk on the field. I don't know. Like, it'd be so much better. Guys, just when you think it can't get any muddier, it gets muddier. Look at my feet. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? Where have you brought us? Just following the route, yeah. <laughs> Look at your trainers. Me and Mitchell have decided that when we get back, we're going to have a look for some walking shoes and invest. And then what we can do is, like you say, just put them in the boot, put a pair of sides in the boot. Um, you're not so bothered as well with your walking shoes getting muddy, are you? Well, these are my gym trainers. <laughs> They're not very nice gym trainers anyway. Gym tomorrow, <laughs> Treadmill, treadmill will get mudder. <laughs> oh no, they're going to go in the washing machine when we get home. Oh my god, I feel like I'm going to go flying soon. Like, how can you even walk? It's awful, isn't People it? People are bringing their dogs through here. Like, imagine how dirty your dog will be. Nice, nice, Look at that, Yeah, it's really beautiful. Look at that. Over the reservoir. That reservoir? <laughs> Simple. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. It's a shame the weather's gone a bit. I know. Okay, so it is. Is it about four o'clock now? Who drank? We're back from the walk, and rather than like stop off at a pub, we actually just bought some nip in Tesco and get some bits to make a roast dinner. Um, at Mitchell's house, it's never that easy because he doesn't have like all the tools like I do, and I think. Like, Sorry about that. I think as well, like, it's nice to have a big kitchen to cook a roast dinner in. Oh, one second, we're overflowing. What? I don't, why have you even got the lid on? You only can't boil it. Yeah, I know, but I just want to steam a bit so it's, it's happening quicker. You can be quiet, no, you don't know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, anyway, we nipped in Tesco, I picked up a few bits and bars, we picked up like quite easy things to do rather than like make everything homemade because like I said, I have like loads of things in my cupboard, whereas Mitchell doesn't. Do you know, like flour, butter, just essentials like that. So yeah, it's just easier when we're at Mitchell's just to get everything that's like pre-done. So we picked up these lamb shanks from Tesco. These are in the frozen aisle. They're six fifty, aren't they? And they are so good. Like we've had them a couple of times, haven't we? And they're really, really tasty. So we've got lamb shank. Mitchell's doing stuffing. We've got the sage and red onion stuffing mix mix it with water really easy. We've got some beef dripping pre-made Yorkshire puddings. Um, cauliflower cheese, which is behind you. I went into m and grabbed some of that because I didn't have any in Tesco. And then I'm making obviously my own roasters, carrots and parsnips. Um, then gravy there. Job's a good one. Can't beat a Sunday dinner, can you? I don't know if I've got gravy. You've not got gravy. You, you cannot say that. We cannot not have gravy on a Sunday dinner. Is it even in date? 2022, yeah. That'll do, ain't it? And we've got gravy from the, um, mind you, it's beef gravy. We've Best gravy. We've got lamb. It's onion gravy. Oh, it's onion gravy. Lovely. Yeah, onion gravy is the one. So yeah, that's the update. Feeling very refreshed after our walk. I'm going to have a nice thing we did it to treat ourselves. Even got cheesecake put in. And then we're just going to get on the sofa. I'm going to do some scrapbooking. I bought all my scrapbooks around. I'm and just chill. Football. You're going to watch football. I'm going to do my scrapbook. I bought my pyjamas as well, so I'm going to get changed to my pyjamas. Happy days. So yeah, I'll update you um, as and when the dinner starts cooking. But yeah, there's not really much to show you, because like I say, I'm not really doing like a proper Sunday dinner. Like normally I go to town and like use like, you know, what is it? The dripping stuff and oh, goose fat and doing all potatoes and cancer. Today what I'm doing is just part boiling, potatoes, carrots, parsnips, 
and then I'll put a bit of like honey on my parsnips and um, carrots and then potatoes. I'm just gonna like get the oil really hot and just fluff them up and that's about it. But they do turn out well, so anyway. Okay, so just thought I'd show you my <gasps> potatoes and how they should look. So when you drain them, you just kind of like want to like, I don't know, bounce the pan up and down and it will make the potatoes kind of go fluffy. Leave them to stand for like five or 10 minutes before you put the oil on and they just go really nice. Um, I have seen some people coat them with like corn flour, flour, and I think that's supposed to make them go quite crispy. I've never tried that, but if you have, let me know. I might try it one day. And now I'm just heating up my oil on the hob and then I'm gonna tip that on. And then yeah, they'll go in the oven. Um, put them in the oven for how long you want. Um, I would recommend like 50 minutes to an hour for them like to be really crispy. But it depends how you like them. So yeah. It's fine to stay at the fire. Look, it's not quite This is an absolute monstrous dinner. <laughs> but we haven't really ate all day, have we? Mm, we've nothing. We've nothing, so this is well deserved. Yum, 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 yum. Hello guys, so as you can see, I am back at home now. The last footage you would have saw in this vlog, I feel is when me and Mitchell was just about to tuck in to our roast dinner. Um, and then you know what it's like guys, when you have a mounting roast dinner like that, like there was so much, I didn't obviously manage to eat it all because there was just loads and me and Mitchell were just like, well best to put it on the plate and then if we eat it, we eat it, if we don't, we don't. Um, but yeah, it was so nice. Oh, I just love a Sunday dinner. But you guys know how it is after you've eaten a big dinner like that. You just go into sleep mode. Um, so yeah, we just kind of chilled on the sofa after. Then eventually had a little bit of dessert. And yeah, just a real chilled Sunday evening, just how it should be. Um, and as you can see, I'm now back at home. Um, I've just had a bit of an admin day today. So that's why I haven't really picked up the vlog and done anything. Um, and now I've just been cleaning the house. I mean, it doesn't look that clean in the background with my water bottle and god knows what but i have been cleaning um <laughs> so yeah anyway i just kind of thought i would come back on the vlog and finish off i feel like there's enough footage um you're gonna have to bear with me with all this vlogging malarkey because i feel like i'm a bit new to it i mean i know i have been doing vlogs for years but for me this year vlogging and getting into these weekly vlogs is something that i really want to have a part of my channel um i feel like in past years a big focus of my channel has always been fashion, but I feel like as time's moving forward, um, don't get me wrong, I love fashion, but I'm really enjoying more vlogs. And I feel like for me personally, vlogs are the sort of thing that I watch myself when I come on YouTube, more than hauls and that kind of content. So yeah, for me this year, weekly vlogs are gonna be a thing and I obviously wanna get better at them. I wanna find a structure with them and yeah, I just want to make them like as entertaining as possible because I am aware that, you know, being a solo vlogger, you know, I don't have a boyfriend that I vlog with. I know Mitchell does appear in my vlogs now and again if I'm with him kind of thing, but you know, I'm predominantly on my own. I've not got like a best friend that I do vlogging with or, you know, I don't live with anyone. So I'm just sometimes conscious that they can be boring with it just being me um, because it is nice when you do have other people in your vlog because you can kind of bounce it off them, show your personality a bit more. And um, that's, you know, why like when I'm with Hazel or Danielle or whoever it may be, I enjoy vlogging when I've got someone around me because, yeah, you just have that extra summit into the vlog um but anyway i'm rambling do let me know what you do like seeing in vlogs and what kind of style vlogs you like seeing um any constructive feedback i'm always here for that so yeah let me know if you have enjoyed this little weekend vlog with me hopefully some more exciting videos coming your way soon but yeah thank you so much for watching guys if you are new here as always please hit the subscribe button it would mean the world to me um give the video a thumbs up and i shall see you all in my next video Bye-bye.